Hey everyone, this is Ms. Moffat from Across the Litiverse, and I'm about to get brutal with some books I love, all in the name of sport. Do stay tuned. So I'm banking on the fact that you've likely heard of the Kiss Mary Cliff game. I've heard it used in reference to attractive celebrities, and I know it's made the rounds in the YA booktube community in regards to book boyfriends and book girlfriends. But what about the books themselves? How might one rate their worthiness in a similarly hilarious fashion? I found this tag via Lala over at Books and Lala, and I've left a link to her video below. In this tag, you pick three books at random and decide which one you would reread, which one you would rewrite, and which one you would recycle. Admittedly, that last category scares me. I have here a jar filled with book titles, and I have enough to play seven rounds of this game. And I also got to finally use my pen. Let's get started. Okay, I have... Girl Man's Up by Emmy Girard, The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman, and Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Elir Sands. For reread, I would pick The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman, probably because the Book of Dust is coming out, and I love that book anyway. I did reread that not too long ago. For rewrite, I'll go with Aristotle and Dante, because there was a lot of dialogue that was kind of repetitive and didn't really add a lot to the story, I would say. So I'm gonna have to recycle Girl Man's Up by Emmy Girard. I wasn't super impressed with the writing, and the story was kind of linear, but I, I did feel the content was really important to share and particularly about female masculinity but out of all three I would have to recycle that one. I'm very sorry. Okay I've got The City and the City by China Mieville, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, and Kindred by Octavia Butler. Well given that I liked Kindred so much I actually filmed a book review I will reread Kindred also because I think it's a book that will get richer for each reread that you do. I think for rewrite I'll go with Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda because there was kind of a kernel of story that kept me coming back I just didn't really think the writing was like anything kind of spectacular or special. And for Recycle, I will go with The City and The City by China Mieville. Without the overlapping worlds, it would have been just a really shitty detective novel. I'm getting scared as these rounds go on. First I have The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. And then I've got the Water Knife by Paolo Bacigalupi, and I've got A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosseini. Okay, <laughs> this is getting hard. Okay, Reread definitely The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. I'm like a one woman campaign for this book. I also reviewed this if you'd like to check it out. Oh, for rewrite, I will pick. I will pick A Thousand Splendid Sons, if only because I like. I really wanted Miriam to have a better life. <laughs> it was well written, I just like, I really felt horrible for Miriam. So I will recycle The Water Knife by Paolo Bacigalupi. I loved The Wind Up Girl a lot, and The Water Knife just kind of fell short for me for some reason, but like, again, it was still really thought provoking. I just think out of the three books, I would probably end up like recycling it. I'm so sorry, Paolo Bacigalupi. <laughs> this game is so stressful. First, I have. Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, Kids of Appetite by David Arnold, and. Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs. That was a very strangely YA poll there. Okay, for reread, I will go with Illuminae because pretty much when I finished it, I felt like I wanted to reread it immediately. For rewrite, I guess I'll pick Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs. I did like this story collection though, and I actually kind of liked it better than the series, I think. But there were definitely some stories that were just stronger than the others, so I might kind of work on those ones a bit. So for recycle, I will pick Kids of Appetite by David Arnold. I loved Mosquito Land, which was his first book, but Kids of Appetite had that really irritating forced YA romance that just did not feel natural at all, so I will sadly have to pick that one. Okay, I kinda know what books are left. <laughs> this this will be interesting. Oh, I picked two, okay. I have The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch, Beautiful You by Chuck Palahniuk, and A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. <laughs> That's not fair. Okay, for reread I'll go with A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness because I think it's one of those books that you're gonna return to at many points in your life. The odds are you're gonna know a lot of people who will struggle with cancer. I think that's gonna be one that'll help a lot of people through. Uh, for rewrite... Uh, for rewrite, I'll go... I guess I'm forced to go with The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. I would rewrite it so that it was just a standalone because it's taking so freaking long for him to release any more books. It's one of those ones I don't know when the series is ever gonna actually be finished. And for recycle, I will go with Beautiful You by Chuck Palahniuk. I've been finding his latest releases haven't been really as strong as some of his early stuff. And Beautiful You was intriguing but kind of fell flat, I think, in the end. I love you, Chuck Palahniuk. I'm so sorry. 
Getting close. So I have Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mendel. Let the Right One In by John Ashvid Lindquist. I always get his name wrong. Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. This is another really hard one. <laughs> I might just start things off and say I would recycle Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. It felt like it was a book that should have been about Earl. I would read a book about Earl. I didn't really care so much. I don't even remember the narrator's name, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, can this be a tie? <laughs> A tie for reread. For reread, I might pick Station Eleven, if only because it's one of those books that I've been thinking about for a long time since I read it. I read it last year and I find I still kind of mull over certain things that it mentions about the end of the world. So I might reread that one because there are a lot of interesting ideas in that one. For rewrite, like I'm kind of forced into picking Let the Right One In, but it was so well written. I just think the topic is heavy enough that I don't think I could bring myself to reread it. It was really well executed and just creepy as heck. I would recommend it too. I don't, I don't actually know how to rewrite. And the last round. What books did I have left? I don't really remember. Man by Kim Tui. The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness. And Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr. Okay, everyone knows I have a big crush on Kim Tui, so Man by Kim Tui would be my reread. She's so good, and it's a really short book too, so I would highly recommend it for you as well. For rewrite, I will pick The Female of the Species, if only because I just felt it was kind of unfair the way that it ended. We get, you know, insights into a, just a really complicated girl's thoughts, but it kind of ended in a way that just wrapped things up kind of neatly. And I can't really give it away because it's a surprise ending, but you would know it if you read it. But it is a really, really solid read. It was just more the ending. I was kind of like, oh, oh, okay. And that means I'd have to recycle Milk and Honey. Although I have recently discovered that the ebook edition I read was actually missing most of the book. In Rupi Kaur's defense, I think I just need to pick up like a physical copy and give it a read and perhaps I would not be recycling it instead. I know at the beginning I said this was going to be brutal and oh my goodness was that an accurate statement. If you want suggestions on other fun book tags to check out I've left a link to my book tag playlist in the description below. If you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up to support this channel. As always thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos from across the Litiverse. On that note, signing off. In this tag you put 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 put what the fuck